opposite direction. That's my prayer book. There's, this is the children learn. As you can see, there's large print, and yeah. when you teach, you start teaching a child from about five or six years old to learn to read Hebrew. And there's uh, 22 characters in the Hebrew alphabet, as opposed to 26 <coughs> in the English alphabet. So the child learns um, over a period of years to learn to read Hebrew until they can read well enough to go on to the prayer book. That is why we teach children to read Hebrew. And this is the prayer book. And as you can see in the prayer book, that is the front of the prayer book. And that is the back of the prayer book, opposite to English. English goes from left to right. Hebrew goes from right to left. Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic will go the other way. So that is why the book goes the other One way. One of the reasons they think the language went in that direction is because in the time of the Bible, they yeah. used to write on stone. They used to chisel into stone. Yeah. Apparently, it's much easier to chisel from right to left, right to left than it is left to right. Not that I've ever done it. No. <laughs> so that is why, and it's mainly the... Um, Roman characters that go the opposite way, the, the English way. So that is the book that I teach. I teach children to read Hebrew. And on this page here, where's the other? Like You'll see that um, they start, obviously, they learn the each letters and then they put one letter next to another letter and it, can, it starts making a word. So. Here, here is a picture, you can see it, of a man, right? And it says underneath it in Hebrew, which the children learn quite early in the language, yeah. when they're learning, um, Abba, Abba, Bo. That means Abba, Daddy is coming. And it means, that actually means in Hebrew, Daddy is coming. There's so that's the words. picture there. So that's why they have the picture of a man on there. And when underneath it, it's got the Hebrew, Abba, Ba, which means Daddy is coming. And if the children want to learn to say, hello, daddy, the word for hello is shalom. shalom. You've heard of shalom. Peace. Shalom actually means peace, and it actually means hello, and it means goodbye. Yeah. So when they say, say hello, daddy, they can say, hello, Abba. Shalom, and then, Abba. Um, and they can say, shalom, Abba, because it means hello. And hello, mummy, is shalom, Emma. So I teach the children to say all these words. And they think that's great because when they leave me, they all think they're speaking Hebrew. <laughs> now, if they want to say the word thank 